We're starting a not-for-profit called I Heart North County, um, and we're just trying to get churches on board with, with connecting people to resources, being neighborly, loving on them, uh, being the hands and feet of Jesus to the point where they ask, why are you here? What are you doing? Um, and so typical week, I, I work on sermons, I meet with folks, um, discipling our leadership team um, so that they can go disciple others, spend time um, planning worship with our worship pastor, investing in youth. It just runs the gamut depending on, on what's going on. Hospital visits to, hey, my cousin that you've never met needs someone to talk to. So um, whatever God kind of lays at me, I've got a few things that I have to get done and everything else is, um, I won't say fly by the seat of my pants, but um, it tends to be um, whenever the call comes, I go running. We've got a group in town from Paducah, Kentucky, um, Lone Oak Baptist. Um, and so one of the great things about them, as well as we've had a group from London, Kentucky come in. And um, with those two groups, what they've done is we've actually formed a partnership with the city of Florissant. And the city of Florissant has a list of people who have needs that need to be met, but no one to meet them. And they have the funds to provide the supplies, but they don't have the labor. And so this group is helping us serve the city of Florissant as well as a homeowner um, by doing the labor. And so Kentucky's helping us out by giving us hands and feet of Jesus um, so that during the summer months, they can serve on our behalf and give our people a, a time of rest from serving because we serve all year round doing stuff like this. And so Kentucky's really helping us out by just being the hands and feet, um, both to our church by letting them rest and to the city of Florissant and homeowners. Um, by being a picture of the gospel, of, of old things being made new, of, of sins being covered, if you will, of neglect and, and uh, disarray. I love the fact that Kentucky is teaming up with St. Louis simply because I can now call on all my friends in the Kentucky Baptist Association and, and conference and just say, hey, um, you want to come serve at my church, your, your state's supporting it. And so I love that fact that there's this teamwork. And, and the other cool thing is, is talking with my church people and trying to set up some family uh, mission trips to where we can go to Louisville, we can go to Paducah, we can go to a London, Kentucky, and uh, we'll go serve as well and team up with Kentucky. We want to be reciprocal. Um, we don't want to just be the recipients of all the, of all the love. So really excited about that simply because of the friendships and the connections that I know several people in St. Louis have with Kentucky. So we don't serve simply for the sake of, of being a nice guy. We serve for the purpose of sharing the gospel and getting Jesus' name out there. And so we're not ashamed about that. And we're grateful like for the group from London that came out and they shared the gospel with Miss Diane. The group you see behind me from Highland, they're coming out sharing the gospel with homeowners, praying. The lady that owns this house behind me just had a hip replacement. And so uh, Miss Mary from Lone Oak is in there praying with her and chatting with her as well as the teenagers making her house look beautiful. And it's just helping us get the gospel out there as well as, hey, there's a church out there that really loves God and is bringing people in. People are amazed to find out that students from Kentucky pay two, three, four hundred dollars to come serve uh, the city of St. Louis for a week. And it just blows their mind that teenagers want to come invest from Kentucky in St. Louis City and County.